NFL AM. It is time now to go behind the pom poms. The Bengals head to Miami to face off against the Dolphins this week on Thursday night football. But today we're headed to Cincinnati to catch up with Bengals cheerleader Allison. She's a first grade teacher by day and a Bengals cheerleader by game day. This is Allison's sixth season cheering with the Bengals. And you might recognize recognize her from the cover of last year's calendar. Good morning to you, Allison. Thank you for joining us so early this morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So you guys are coming off a great win. You're leading the AFC North. For the cheerleaders, do you take as much excitement from the win as the players do, that electricity? We do. We love the energy in Cincinnati. Our fans are incredible. We are on a roll this season, and I love it. Well, you love it. Well, you have to tell us who your favorite player is. you got a bunch of characters up there. You know, we do have a lot of great players on our team this year. My favorite player is Kevin Huber. We went to college together at the University of Cincinnati, and I was a cheerleader there, and he played football, so it was nice to see us do the transfer to the Bengals as well. Oh, that's cool. So you guys made it to the pros together. Okay, so you have a completely different view of the action. Take us through your most memorable moment. We've had a lot of great games this year. The Packers game was incredible. The Patriots game was so fun with the downpour at the end. But my favorite game was last year around Christmas time. We had we played the Arizona Cardinals at home. And when Jerome Simpson did the front flip into the end zone and made the touchdown, I was right there. I could see all the action. It was incredible. Did you teach him that move? Did you teach him that flip? I did not. <laughs> It is very impressive to watch again. Very impressive. Now, we know you were on the cover of the calendar. We have a bunch of fitness folks who watch this show. What was your regimen to get in shape for that calendar shoot? Well, we do a lot of exercising, conditioning, and dieting. And I wish I had some magical secret for you guys to tell you how to lose weight and get fit. But there is no secret. It's diet and exercise, lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, high protein, and I work out, and my favorite workout is actually doing the boxing. It's a great stress reliever as well. Ah, I think our Molly Karam does a little yes, bit of boxing. Yes, she does. That's why we don't mess with Molly. <laughs> no, we don't. All right, this is your sixth season on the squad. So how has being part of it changed your life? You know, I've grown up on this team. I started when I was 21, and I was in college, and I feel like I've matured and grown with these women. I've seen a lot of the women change as well. They've been, um, I've went through marriages and they got married and had babies and I've been through baby showers and all these wonderful events with these women and Bang Gals is a true sisterhood and it's been nice to grow up and, you know, learn from these professional, talented women. When you talk about that sisterhood, tell us something that fans might not know. They see you on the sidelines on Sundays, they see you at a community service event, but give us something else that we might not know about NFL cheerleaders. You know, we do have professional jobs and we live professional lives, and I think a lot of our fans do know that. But I don't think a lot of our fans know that we learn new choreography every game for every game. We try to do a theme and we keep the music fresh and fun for our fans, but we're also the first people here on Sundays. We have to get on the field and practice before the players, so we are working extra hard and extra long on Sundays. I don't think a lot of people realize that. All right, well, Allison, thank you so much for joining us here on NFL AM, and good luck next coming games. Thank you for having me. All right, coming up here on NFL and the season.